and all time favorites. Hello movie lovers, welcome to another episode of Movie Zone and it feels good to be back. Thank you for your love on the first episode. You know we are in for a lifetime something on this show. And yes, last week was really interesting. This week is even going to be more interesting as I have a lot of things to tell you and bring to your notice here at home and of course in the abroad. <laughs> I'm talking about Nollywood and Hollywood, of course, and all the wood I can finally touch as time goes on but hey 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 i know you are not expecting me to talk about mvcs today because that is a thing of the past <laughs> not really a thing of the past because we're still counting down to the award proper but today we're going to focus on something different something new it's going to be about the glitz the glam and all the fun in between as well as news and some facts you probably did not know in the world of movies you already know it's your girl now in case you did not know let me tell you my name. My name is Moya Sarialua. This is Enyola Badmos TV where we have all the fun in the world, especially entertainment. Now, all I need you to do right now as we take this sweet time together is make sure you grab everything you need to grab clothes right now. And you know when we talk about movies, eh? Something you used to normally follow. Either you are doing your hot dog or you're doing your popcorn. Whatever it is you choose to do while you watch the show, do it but remember not to touch the dial because this gist i'm about to give you today is hot and sweet <laughs> because a lot definitely happened in the last one week that i think i should bring you up to speed with and of course let you in on them because you deserve to know all these things if i don't tell you about them who will Eh? tell me who will <laughs> so yes when i come back in just a little bit we'll get on to the gist and all the sweet things that we have for you on the show today movie zone it is don't go nowhere Welcome back to the show. Let's get into it straight up because I know that you're waiting to hear all the things I have gathered for you to let you into in this particular episode. And yeah, we're going to be starting off the gist with something that happened um, about a week ago. Yeah, it's about the glitz and glam, guys. I told you this show, this particular episode, we are going to be taking a look at some of the interesting things happening in the world of movies, particularly the show bees aspect of it and yes last week was really interesting as some of your faves were invited by netflix to south africa for the premiere of the tv show coming very soon queen chaliot if you are a huge fan of bridgerton i'm sure you know what this is about already it's a prequel to that particular tv show that got a lot of people talking particularly because of that star cast <laughs> <laughs> that fine man you know what i'm talking about i'm sure that is why a lot of you watch bridgerton but hey we're going to have something really different from the bridgerton story this time it's going to focus on the queen herself you get to know about her background how she became the queen why she you know would usually choose um uh is it a star of the of the what's that thing called now you guys know what i'm talking about right aha uh -huh. you will get to know why she does what she does and all those good stuff about the queen so yeah chaliot is coming queen chaliot is coming and the stars from nigeria were invited to a night of wonder night of majestic you know royalty that kind of thing whatever that means right but they were invited to the premiere in south africa talking about sharon oda bimbo ademoye prissy ojo we also had kunle remi messi ak and a host of others and trust your ninja faves now they always deliver they went there and they blew us all away with their look that was screaming reality to the core let's check out how some of your faves stepped out for the premiere of queen charlotte in south africa
now i'm sure you've seen all of those good looks but i'm sure you are even anticipating more what is going to happen in this particular netflix original show coming to you on the 4th of may me i have been counting down like i cannot wait the trailer is so good i was literally drooling now i'm just keeping my fingers crossed to hoping that uh, it's going to be as good as what we saw in the trailer as well as the premiere but one thing is for sure i will definitely be looking out for all those costumes because one thing bridgerton has that i totally love is the looks gosh it's always really majestic and i'm waiting to watch so yes may 4th is going to come on netflix so you'll be able to stream it from may 4th and that is definitely the cocoa of the matter hoping that the movie is as good as the hype that we already have but tell me in the comment section which of these people all of our ninja favorites and even south african favorites that attended this event brought the look for you to the premiere let us know in the comment section even as we get to the next story glitz and glam on today's episode of movie zone and we told you last week that we were going to be attending the premiere of the movie to aisha's and we totally delivered last sunday was a total shutdown right here in lagos for the premiere of the movie the two aisha's a faith-based movie one of its kind yes it's we don't have so many faith-based movies um, come to the cinema but this one is coming to the cinema in fact is already in the cinema because it hits the cinema on the 24th of April and the premiere was really interesting they had an Arabian theme and you know for sure that me hey, Muyo Sore Olua, I always love a good theme we showed up and showed out and this is what it looked like attending the premiere of the two Aisha let's show you how that went down even as we had we spoke to some of the fantastic fantastic cast from the movie crew directors and some other guests that attended that particular premiere you know i loved particularly how rahama sadal looked that night i also loved how mayam stepped out uh paul utomi looked fantastic as well chidi makeme was there to support the show was hosted by vj adams and yes there were a lot of other things that i needed to see from this particular premiere so let's go check it out the premiere of the two eyeshadows Premier is very special to me because he has a theme that I love. They said bring Arabian vibe and we brought it hot hot. You know how we do it now. Oh, I must shout. This is one movie I feel is going to blow your mind because it's different. It's a faith-based movie and I think that I love that Arabelle Films have decided to go on this journey. That girl is not my sister. We are not related by blood. We are not related by adoption. Uh, and one of the questions I asked the director earlier on is why did you decide to embark on a journey as unique as this one? Not so many faith move based movies in, in the cinemas and this is happening. When you got the script and when you were called on the project, how did you react? Uh, the first time I read the script, I immediately jumped on the project. I didn't even think <laughs> twice. And I think why, why I jumped on the project is about the uniqueness. It's absolutely different from what I'm used to doing on screen. Accolades, you know. So the accolades are a good by, uh, byproduct of what we do. So it feels good to get the nomination. It will feel good to win the award. Um, I just think, Arabof, I don't think it's necessarily something different, but I think more and more producers are listening to what the people want, uh, what they need. Sometimes we don't always know what we want. 
Um, and I'm sure some people are a bit more afraid to ask, oh, we need more faith-based movies and things like that. So the fact that they're just doing it and people... Well, I'm sure you enjoyed watching a bit of what went down at the premiere of the two Aishas. Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's definitely going to wrap it on the glit and glam on today's show. So let's quickly go on a short break. When we return, we'll be getting to the news because I have some juicy news that you should know about. Enola Badmos TV Entertainment. Welcome back to the show. This is Still Movie Zone here on Enola Badmos TV, and it's your girl, Moya Sora Lua. We started off with those beauty that we had happen in the last one week. Uh, you know, the premieres, and you know, we love that right here on Enola Badmos TV. But right now, we have to switch attention for a little bit as we get on to some of the news that broke recently and topping the chat of interesting news to bring to you today would be the one that concerns our star girl bad girl rihanna yes the news broke on the 27th of april where we were informed that rihanna is going to be doing something new and it is the fact that she will be featuring on the movie smurf well one of the many things that i think rihanna seems to be big on right now is movies i mean rihanna literally kept us waiting in the world of music for a very long time and when she decided to come through for us with the music it was a music that was done for a movie that um lifts me up for black panther uh wakanda forever so it feels like she's really big on collaborating for movies in recent time and i'm here for all of that and when i thought eh, well that's all we are going to get just our voice um you know as a musician on movies rihanna told me hold my cup because right now she's not just going to be lending her voice to movies she's also going to be featuring in movies right she is going to act in the movie Smurf. I'm sure you know it's an animation and she's going to be playing the role of Smurfette and I'm just really wondering how is this going to go? Well, Rihanna did not just say, own my cup. She's also saying that I have something more for you. Apart from featuring in the movie as an actor, voicing the role of Smurfette, she would also be singing some of the songs, you know, soundtrack for the movie. Now, while it sound really interesting and feel like we are in for something good, <laughs> should I shock you? You would have to wait till 2025 for this particular project. <laughs> but anyways, it's something really good. And before you close your eye and you open it, 2025 is here. So wait for it. Okay? Don't be in a hurry. <laughs> Away from the Rihanna, just let's quickly check out some of the movies that you should be anticipating for the month of May. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Away from the Rihanna story, let's come back home to Nigeria where I have a very interesting question for you. I mean, as a movie lover who is probably following Nollywood, I think I should ask you, how many movies do you think that Nollywood churn out in a month? Or should I say a quarter? Have you ever thought about it? <laughs> well, I've been thinking about it and I think I found the number and I'm going to roll it out for you today because did you actually know that in the first quarter of 2023, Nollywood actually churned out 280 movies. Like in January, February, March, we had 280 movies released. Of course, not everything to the cinema. You know, some movies do not make it to the cinemas, but I mean, these are movies that were screened by the censor board in the course of january february and march 2023 and were released in whatever distribution form that they were released and i think that's pretty interesting it feels like nollywood is not giving up or slowing down anytime soon but you know what they're even telling us they're telling me that this is even a reduction to what we had in the fourth quarter of 2022 because in the fourth quarter of 2022 nollywood actually released 340 movies i was like what 
that because that's a lot but i would not necessarily say that's a decline i mean coming from um the statements that was released by alaji adedaya thomas the executive director and ceo of the national film and video censors board who actually gave out these numbers i wouldn't say it's a decline right i'll just say that in december usually or in the fourth quarter that's the um october november december of 2022 where we have 314 movies you know usually at that time a lot of production had, had been completed people are also looking forward to the holiday movies and all that stuff so yeah the number is supposed to be that high unlike the beginning of the year where people were are still taking it slow you know trying to finish up their project and trust me when i say that 280 in the first quarter of 2023 is definitely a good number and i'm saying kudos to everyone who is investing in nollywood who is putting in the effort you know producing the movies big ups to you guys because i know that it is not easy <laughs> so in case you did not know or you're not sure of the numbers of movies that nollywood churn out monthly quarterly well i'm sure you already know the range right now and you'll probably be able to tell someone who is probably telling you ah, nollywood that nollywood is actually doing a lot welcome back to movie zone and yes you're still chilling with your girl i trust you're enjoying the show so far uh this is definitely the final segment of today's show where we get into some of the movies that you should be seeing in the cinema or those that are coming to the cinema especially in the new month of may may is really really loaded and i'm going to definitely start off from hollywood movies that are coming in the month of may earlier on i told you that queen chariot is coming okay so you should be looking forward to that one and yes it's coming on the 4th of may that's one series or tv show that i'm sure a lot of people are queuing in to see on netflix from the may from may 4th when it's finally released to the cinema apart from queen charlotte let's get to the real movies right now okay and one movie that i cannot wait for right now is fast x right that is from the fast and furious um franchise and yeah guys we are on the 10th the 10th you know um, um part of that particular franchise it's been a long time coming when fast and furious um nine came i felt like okay is there going to be another angle to this but you know these guys they are not giving up or slowing down anytime soon they said they are ready and we are also ready 2021 was when we had fast and furious nine now we are having fast and furious 10 which is fast x right and it's coming in may mm -hmm, the month of may and one of the many things that you need to know about this is the fact that we are gradually getting to the end of the fast and furious franchise because this fast x is actually going to come in two parts the first part is what is coming in the month of may the second part will come in 2025 and that might just be the end of the fast and furious franchise well we cannot say you know categorically because you know these guys anything can change but i can't wait to see fast x guys when it hits the cinema i'll probably be in the front row because hey this is one franchise that i love so much and even after um paul walker left us you know you know what happened with paul walker and we had fast and furious 7 we thought that was going to be the best and the most emotional of the fast and furious you know some of us can't even get the song out of our head it's been a long day okay now then let me go there but i'm sure you know what i'm talking about but the truth is it keeps getting better with every part of this and yes this one who i hope is going to do well as well uh but yeah all i can say right now is for you to anticipate it and i'm sure that when it hits the cinema i'll be here to tell you all about it and yeah maybe my favorite part of the movie away from fast x let's quickly talk about the fact that guardian of the galaxy is also coming this month of may volume 3 is coming i'm not a huge fan of the guardian of galaxy but if that's your thing i thought to let you know that it's coming to the cinema this month of may the volume 3 and i think that it's something you should pen down to rush to see in the cinema when it finally comes out now to one that i am also very happy about 
Ariel is coming. Little Mermaid, Disney live action movie is coming to the cinema. One of the reasons, as excited as I am, right? I'm also very... <clears throat> Because, you know, this is not animation. We all loved the animation of Little Mermaid. I mean, this is one of my favorite um, Disney princesses, right? But when it comes to live action, that's the live action of the animation as we had it with Lion King. I'm just only going to hope that it's as good because for lion king i had a lot of reservation when we had the live action but hey i think from the trailer that i've seen so far yeah it might just be really good and the fact that disney decided to give hope to um people who are of black origin or the black skin making or casting one of my favorite as um you know as ariel in this particular one is something that when they released the first trailer last year i know that a lot of people reacted uh positive to read because we're going to have that representation of black color black skin and all that but hey there's also a bit of controversy coming in with some of the tweak that we are currently seeing from the recently released um you know trailer of that particular one but i'm not going to say so much right now all i'm just going to say is it's coming to the cinema and all you need to do is plan to see it I mean, I know it's later in the month of May, but me, I've started my countdown right now. And that's one of the top movies that I am anticipating for the month of May. And I think you should also be anticipating as well. Let's really come home to Nigeria. Not so many movies have expressly been, you know, brought forward to be released in the month of May. But I think the ones that you can still see that are currently showing in the cinemas, um, the Kujas again is still showing in the cinema. Two Aishas is still showing in the cinema. Uh, of course, Only Money is also coming to the cinema from today. We should be at the premiere of that movie. And I'll also be letting you in on that particular premiere in the next episode of Movie Zone. A lot of other movies that you can also go to see. Last week, I told you Creed is still showing in the cinema, Equalizer, and a couple of other movies. So yeah, the movie world is still loaded. And I hear that a public holiday is coming very soon. So you should probably plan to go out with your friends, family, loved ones to go see any of those movies that we've talked about on Movie Zone in the cinema. And when you do see them, Make sure you come to the comment section and let me know what you think about the movies and how you feel and if they were worth your time. All right, guys, I think I have to go right now. It's always sad to say goodbye on this show because I enjoy talking to you guys a lot and bringing you all those juicy gist or juicy gist <laughs> in the world of movies. This is one thing I pledge to always do for you. And all I can say is make sure you always return to watch another episode week after week after week after week. My name is Moya Saralu. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Once again, remember to like, subscribe, share, and tell somebody about this sizzling show, Movie Zone, here on Enola Badmas TV. Till next week when I come your way again. Goodbye. <laughs> Bad moss. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Bad Moss TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And